Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we are back at it once again. Today, we got the goo. We got the good stuff. We got the y'all bad structure deck, baby. Yo, we got we got three of them as well, yo. With today, I'm actually going to be um showing you guys what's inside the Albat structure deck and I'm going to be showing you some test hands within a deck that I'm working on. If you know, you know. If you don't, you're going to find out later of where the branded package is going to go well in. Like, And I honestly believe that this deck with the new branded slash Albaz support is about to be crazy. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it. Yo, yo, we back on the Magic Karibo playmat. I honestly almost forgot what this playmat looked like because I always had the Shenron, Shenron playmat right over it. And I do love this playmat a lot. So let's just open up straight to the structure deck right over here. While I'm opening this up over here in the comments down below, please let me know um, if you're actually excited for the structure deck. And if you are, what deck are you going to be playing the Brand Diffusion package in? I would definitely like to know. I already have a couple decks in mind that can actually take advantage of the Brand Diffusion package for sure. So I'll definitely show that off for sure. All right. So this is the entire engine that I'm playing um, from when it comes to the structure decks. Honestly, really strong engine. Definitely would recommend um, the Brand Diffusion package you definitely get it from the structure deck so it's definitely affordable no matter what so the cards we are playing triple copies of brand Fusion, one copy of fallen valbats for your fusion monsters um we're playing the one mirajid which is the boss monster um the, the lubelion which um shuffles fusion materials to fusion summon and uh, one albion which banishes to um fusion summon and honestly the spriggan's kit is more of a flex spot because you honestly really don't need this um there are two certain reasons why i would play this one of them to be like an extra normal summon for any sort of deck two if you're playing over 40 cards you have less of a chance of seeing the triple copies of branded fusion but if you were playing the branded fusion along with um the copies of spriggan's kit you're basically are trying to see six copies of branded fusion from um your deck into your starting hand, so I would just definitely recommend the Spriggan's kit, no matter what. And it's just the fact that um, once you activate Brand of Fusion, if this card gets Ash, you're only locked into um, Fusion Summons, right? Um, but like if this if Spriggan's kit like gets Ash, for example, right? You just have Brand of Fusion in hand, you're just all set. It's not like a card like Red Eyes Fusion where if the if Red Eyes Fusion gets Ashed, you can't do anything else for the rest of the turn. No, like um. You, if this card was to get asked, you just locked into Fusion Summons. If your deck relies on anything else besides Fusion Summoning, I would definitely not recommend this engine at all. But if your deck, all it does is Fusion, you're fine, honestly. So I'm going to be showing you guys a deck that I'm actually going to be playing um, within the Brand of Fusion package. And that deck is Dark Magician. And I just mentioned before with um, Red Eyes Fusion, this, like, Dark Magician with the Brand Fusion package, it really, really does create, like, one hell of a deck. It really does. And I'm definitely would just recommend it. And to show you guys that it actually works, I'm going to be showing you guys a few test hands of a build that I'm personally trying to work on. Not perfected, not near done yet, but... It will do enough to show you guys certain test hands of how the branded Dark Magician deck works out. And once that gets worked out, I will come back straight to you. Let's, Let's get, get our final shuffles in here. And we're going to get straight to it. So, cut. And let's draw our five. All right. Okay, that's how we talk. That's how we do Nibiru. Brand new fusion, just as rod, and Hornet drones. So, the point of this video, branded fusion. This is our main card right here. Forget everything else right now. So, 
Okay, put this to the side. Add three brand infusion. So, brand infusion is gonna send both dark magician and Albaz. I'm gonna send both dark magician and Albaz from Doctor Graveyard to summon our copy of Lubelia. So we need send this to Graveyard. All right. We got this right here, and with our hand over here, we activate Lubelion effect. Lubelion it needs a discard for cost, so um, honestly, something I would not I would not do the brand infusion because we would just do that. So Hornet drones because we're already locked into fusions. So fusions, we shuffle back the Dark Magician and the uh, Fallen Valbaz. To summon the one and the only Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. So basically, Brand Diffusion is just a one card combo just to get your Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, everything that you can always ask for when it within Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, but one thing about it that's different than Red Eyes Fusion itself, besides having another monster on board, is the fact that you only have one pop because you use Dark Magician only and one effect dragon monster. So that's definitely something right there. And then also another thing about this, you're not locked into anything else besides fusion summoning, so you can still normal summon your magician's rod and just resolve his effect. So with this, I would definitely recommend um the soul servant, but not activating the soul servant because you just don't have any um copies of Dark Magician within your graveyard. That's also another thing about this, like you are you kinda just like just don't have that access right now to um, putting Dark Magician in the graveyard. So, I would definitely just recommend set, setting this and just um, rolling with these two cards in your hand. So, that's like an uh, example test hand right there. Like, obvi obviously, I would just recommend putting um, this in the defense. Okay, right. so as if um, your opponent just does their turn. Um, Red Eyes, um, Dark Dragoon Negay, discard in the Biru. Still have Brand Infusion in hand, obviously, for sure. And then um, end phase, you activate your um, soul servant. Soul servant would add your copy of Magician Souls top of deck. Shuffle that up a little bit. Not really much because we're just gonna be putting this on top. Okay, top of deck. And turn, draw, you can draw that. All right. So that's in grave. So now at this point, you could just activate. Um, you can either activate the Branded Fusion or you can activate the Magician Souls. Um, if you activate Branded Fusion, you're just locked into fusions again. So at this point, let's. I would just activate Magician Souls. Yeah, let's do that, right? Sending your copy of Mana from. Deck um, from deck to grave, special self link. Remember, this is your next turn now after like your opponent passes it back to you. Verte pay 2k with Verte. Oh wow, what's something that we haven't used? Wow, we actually haven't used Red Eyes Fusion, even though you have a copy of Red Eyes Dark Dragoon on board already. And the thing is, you could just send your copies of. Dark Magician and Red Eyes Black Dragon from deck to graveyard, and there you go. You have your second copy of Dragoon, like literally immediately. Like two copies of Dragoon on board with an extra monster on board and just Verti Anaconda with also an extra card in hand. Like the brand infusion package literally offers so much for the deck. It really does. And now let's say okay, we just banished the uh, just for funsies, right? We banished the uh, um Soul Servant from from Grave. So let's do that. Where's that soul servant? Banish soul servant from grave. Let's draw two. Wow, that's actually pretty good. And I'm playing Ghost Ogre now. Um, definitely a big meta call, and definitely great for Konami to actually put a a meta call like hand, a meta hand trap right now within the format. So this is actually pretty. This is actually pretty stacked up right here too. Like, wow. 
Just put this to attack and you have a lot of damage on board. That was a really great first hand. Let's just get straight to the second one for sure. All right. So now we're shuffling up for the second test hand over here. Um, Something about this deck that I really don't do. Like, um, in the beginning, I was really, like, leaning towards, like, no hand traps at all whatsoever to, like, a, very, a lot of trap heavy um stuff. And because, like, I do love trap cards. I do love monkey flip. But, like, as you've seen, I've been playing hand traps a lot recently, and they've been really working out for um, for sure. And I believe, like, in this version right here, I'm only playing, like, three to four trap cards. Um, like, obviously, the one Eternal Soul. And um, double to triple copies of Imperm. That's honestly all I'm playing. And the Imperms are just counted more as hand traps for nowadays. So, let's get that done right over here. And let's... Get straight to the second one. Magician Souls. Ash Blossom. Ash Blossom. Magical Eyes. Magician's Rod. Well, um. Well, I would certainly hope that I don't really need to show you guys again the um, um rod and circle com um rod and souls combo. Where this just gets you Verti Anaconda and Dragoon all by itself. So let's try to show you guys another test hand that actually shows you guys like some new some of the newer cards. Alright. Third test hand. Can we get the good stuff? Can we get some new cards to show you guys of how this would show off in the Dark Magician deck? Let's cut. And let's draw. Ogre. Brandon Fusion. Red Eyes Fusion, that's exactly what I want to show you. That's exactly what I want to show you right over here. So, these two cards, very great cards. I love them both. And the rest of this hand is actually pretty freaking nutty too. Like, I'm not going to lie to you about that. So, let's say you have, you're in a predicament where you're at Brand New Fusion, Red Eyes Fusion, right? So, what is the saver choice? I would definitely say branded fusion. Branded fusion is, is to me, it's just a way safer choice, right? Not just because of the fact that you're gonna have like more monsters on board to um, protect yourself if you or anything like that, but the fact that Ash is a card, like Ash on the branded fusion would be like very devastating for like a lot of um a lot of other decks that are playing the brand diffusion package because like it would honestly almost end their turn right but for this instance if they were to ash this card right oh i just can't summon oh i'm locked into only summoning fusion monsters go this gets ashed right it's in graveyard oh you wasted your ash red eyes fusion where's your ash now you wasted your ash on brand infusion good job but it wasn't enough I had both of these cards. Bro, like, definitely I would always go with Brand Fusion first. Always activate Brand Fusion before Red Eyes Fusion. Because, say as if, you activate Red Eyes Fusion, Ashed. I can't do nothing else. I can't summon anything else for the rest of the turn now. Because Brand Fusion, I, I need to summon something. Red Eyes Fusion negate, um, prevents you from going into literally anything else at all. Not even su summoning or anything like that. All you can do is set. Where for Brand Fusion, if this card gets Ash, you're only locked into Fusion Summons. That's all you gotta do. That's all. So these two cards, honestly, God combo. Like, this is like equivalent to Red Eyes Fusion and Call by the Grave. Like, you you already made your opponent waste their Ash on this. So very very great hand right all here. Right. So the one card I really wanted to show off was Spriggan's Kit. We are playing Spriggan's Kit in here for a reason. Um. There's not going to be a lot of the times where you're going to have, like, um, like this card special summon itself because you have a fusion monster that has um, Fallen of Albaz mentioned as um, his material. So, let's say you go draw Spriggan's Kit, but you draw Red-Eyes Black Dragon. So, we're going to try to get a, the rest of the um, three cards to make it a full hand over here to see what we draw. And it's to see if that changes up anything at all. So, okay. Cut usual and draw the last three soul servant illusion of chaos branded fusion oh boy that wow branded fusion loves to be in my hand now all right so say as if you're in this predicament right over here right um 
Now, when it comes to Brand Diffusion and Spriggan's Kit, the safer option, Spriggan's Kit, for sure. You want to bait out those hand traps as much as you can. So, normal summon Spriggan's Kit. Um, we're just going to play this off right now as if my opponent has no hand traps whatsoever. So, activate Spriggan's Kit. Spriggan's Kit's effect activates um, either getting a branded spell from your deck or banished. So, obviously, we're going to get this card from the deck. Well, now the fact that this card mentions banished as well, you can, is not just an ash bait, is also a ghost spell bait as well. So, obviously, get branded fusion. Branded fusion for sure. But once you get the card you need, you have to um, resolve um, all of Spriggan's Kit's effect, which is to put one card from your hand to the bottom of your deck. So now you see where the Red Eyes Black Dragon comes in, right? Because welcome to Dark Magician. You're always going to draw some sort of brick whatsoever. So now you have kind of like another copy of Illusion and Chaos. Instead of putting the card on top of your deck, you're putting it from the, to the bottom of it now. So put that to the bottom of your deck right over here. Boom, that's pretty nice. There you go. And honestly, let's play this out, right? So, if they didn't really bait, if they didn't really ash or do anything like that, I would figure that they would use an ash or something like that. Activate Branded Fusion. Branded Fusion will now normal um, fusion summon your. Okay, Albaz, where you want to be. Fusion summon the Albaz Dark Magician for obviously your copy of Lubellion. Normal summon defense is just um special summon defense is just a higher higher stat right there. Um before I would say like before doing anything else, let's try doing Illusion of Chaos to try to get the most draw um draw power from your Yeah, just to get your um, soul servant to resolve um, for two draws. Sure, let's do that, right? So, magician souls, put something back. I would definitely, I would just definitely put back the illusion of chaos for sure. Yeah, illusion of chaos activate. Um, magician souls sends the mana to graveyard. Um, let's. You know what? Let's summon Dark Magician. Obviously, right? By sending this to Grave. I don't know if that's the right call, but you never know. You know what? I'm just going to special itself, right? Let's just special itself. Board present on, board presence, honestly. Um, Soul Servant. Oh, I don't even know what to get at this point. I would try to... Uh, wow. Honestly, playing everything now with the new branded stuff, I do got to get used to, like, what the hell to do, right? Because now branded fusion into the play, into the mix makes it, like, you just can't get Rod um rod and Souls to go into Verti and Akonda Dragoon. Because once you activate branded fusion, you can't go into any sort of links whatsoever, right? So, like, this is why, like, for this version, like, I do not play, like, the Artemis whenever it comes to, like, Rod and Weird Hands like that. Because you just can't go into that as much as you would really like to. So, yeah, let's put this, right? Um, you have both Rod, um, Dark Magician and Mana. Draw two. You know you're going to get the Rod. And, oh, wow, Illusion of Chaos. Nice, that's funny. Um, also, another reason I did this is the fact that you need to discard for um, the Lubellion effect. Just because. Um, I think, honestly, for this instance, activate this to discard the uh, Magician's Rod because you have Illusion of Chaos in hand to shuffle back the Dark Magician and Albaz into your Dragoon, right? So, um, this is definitely, like, something I'm really not used to yet, where, like, I have just this much monsters on board, especially when it comes to, um, like, just usually just going for Verti Anaconda Dragoon. Definitely, this is, this is the full extent of the test hands, because, like, we do gotta go, we do gotta go by the format of cards that are 
we do have to go by cards that are in our format now, right? We have to deal with cards like um, Verte and Akon, like not Verte and Akon, the super polymerization, right? Because like once this, once these cards are like going rampant everywhere, your opponent is definitely going to be like playing cards like super poly, um, dark, dark ruler no more to break your board. Like there's just so much that they can do to break this board, honestly, right here. So like definitely it would be better to like have like these two right here because like dark light spellcaster dragon like there's just a lot that they can do with just like two two darks three darks um dark and a fusion like it's just a lot of things that your opponent can do like so definitely this is going to be taking a lot of time um to get used to these combos or like to see which is the best route especially when it comes to just branded fusion or another thing you could do is not play the branded fusion package at all but i just think it's too good to pass up right now i really do think so all right so we're gonna cut back right at the end like i'm not even gonna lie to you it's pretty funny how i managed to figure some things out like once i end these videos like i will literally take down everything and then i'm all like whoa i kind of uh kind of forgot that i kind of just figured that out so i'm just like you know what forget it right so we have funny situations where you like to open up Radix black dragon more than dark magician in in his own deck right and then you just open up a brand infusion a great card with it as well right and let's say you know what um we kind of need like a you know what let's just say we need a discard wait actually no i'm i'm lying to myself at this point that's only if we need kit so let's go branded right then you know send you two favorite cards from your from your deck to your graveyard your new favorite card is um not just dark magician and red eyes black dragon but of course is always at the top of the deck bro like always yeah you know send your two favorite cards now right and then you summon your nice lubellion okay all oh, these cards in the graveyard now oh god that glare is nasty now you just activate lubellion effect this card red eyes black dragon shuffle back red eyes black dragon and dark magician to your deck boom you still have fallen albaz in your graveyard too and you have dragoon now with two pops like that's how it is and I'm really sure that you do not need Fallen with Outbass to shuffle with this card's effect. So it just says Fusion Summon 1 level 8 or lower Fusion Monster from your extra deck um, except for this card itself. By shuffling Fusion Materials on, onto it, on it from into the deck. Using monsters on either f the field, graveyard, or face up banish. So literally, Dark Magician Red Eyes. You can just use those cards or even let's say this right you open up dark magician and branded activate branded send red eyes and albaz to just do the same thing effect discard dark magician shuffle back red eyes black dragon and dark magician same thing you just have different cards in hand. It's really crazy how you just manage to see certain cards like these because like, like especially the red eyes, people will say that's a brick, right? Oh, that's funny. Or they will just go through that entire combo and still shuffle back the red eye, the dark magician and outbass while still having red eyes in hand. And then they probably might just realize later on or they probably won't even realize at all. It's pretty funny. Like that's how it is to me. It really is. Like, that's how it, that really is how it is. And then, like, okay, say as if we have a kit, if I can find my kits. It's always at the top of the deck, right? Okay, both of them, sure. Okay, we have a kit right there, right? Kit, red eyes, um, and then, like, three other cards. Three other cards for sure, okay. Normal kit. Get your copy of Brandish Fusion. Say as if you really do not want to put back the Red Black Dragon. Just to have it as a discard. 
I it's pretty risky because like knowing that you're there like your opponent's gonna have hand traps glued to their hand. So two other cards, red eyes, branded fusion, branded fusion. Now send you two favorite cards. Lebellion. Now, same thing. Discard. Fusion summon. Both of these. Boom. Boom. Fusion. Oh my god. Look at that. Boom. Look at that. These cards, it's just crazy. I really just find this amazing to myself. I really do. Like, how did I just figure that out? I don't know. Why does it always pop up later after I'm done recording? I don't know. Welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh. That's how you do. So once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like, subscribe, and all that stuff. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.